Yo, what's happening guys? This is Zaptrocity, and today this is another episode of the Minecraft Redstone Guide. So last time we looked a little bit into um, some basic circuitry. For example, we looked at this very simple torch tower right here to vertically transmit power. So we flip this lever, and as you can see, we can see the door closes. Now, but as you can see, there's a little bit of delay. So we flip the lever, and probably about like a second or so of delay right there. So why has this happened? Well, Minecraft is made up of redstone tick delay. So, looking at the redstone torch, we should by now be able to uh, understand, you know, notice that these redstone torches have a delay. So, we flip the lever, and you can see there's a little bit of delay before all of them, you know, turn off. Uh, they don't all, t this one doesn't turn on and off, on, on, off, all instant instantaneously. Um, but. As soon as this turns on, it will turn off, and it will kind of update its way all the way to the top. And that delay is what we call redstone ticks. So in the game, we have th something called game ticks, actually. Now, game ticks is what the game uses to uh, trigger things like, I don't know, spawning spawning mobs, or, I don't know, checking for updates, things like that. So in a second, there's about 20 game ticks. So, you know, that could be like, I don't know, 20 updates and... Uh, I I'm not going to go into detail about all of that, but actually there is things called redstone ticks, which are equivalent to 10 of them, are equivalent to 20 game ticks. So that's the timing redstone circuitry uses, redstone ticks. So I just want to give you that game tick information, just in case you wanted to know that. Now we're going to be talking about redstone ticks, alright, not game ticks. So, you just remember that, because redstone ticks and game ticks are very different. So in one second, we have 10 redstone ticks. Alright, now things that give off delay are like repeaters, redstone torches, and redstone comparators. Some things in like piston circuits have a little bit of delay sometimes, but I'm not going to go into too, de too much detail with that. With redstone, with these redstone things, they give off one redstone tick delay each. Alright, so if we activated this, it would be a one tick delay through uh, the through it, and it will you know be a one tick delay through the circuit. Now repeaters are cool. Uh, the cool thing about them is that you can adjust the delay, so you can have up to one, two, three, or four. So you place down your repeater, you just right click it, and you'll be setting it to different delay times. So this one here is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You place it down; its default is one, maximum four. All right. So, since we know that 10 redstone ticks is 1 second, and a repeater has 1 redstone tick, that means this is 4, 4, 2. So 4, 8, 10. So this should take a, about 10 seconds to open this door. So, uh, well not 10 seconds, 10 redstone ticks, therefore making it 1 second to open this door. So we flip the lever, and that should be about 1 second. Oh, let's do a time again, and go. Now that hopefully was uh, exactly one second, it might be a little bit off based on lag and, you know, some issues. So that is, you know, pretty cool, that's how you can make delay, so if you want things to trigger in order. Now redstone torches are the same, along with the repeaters and comparators. So here we have 10 redstone torches, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now these were the uh, delays back in the days where uh, repeaters weren't introduced, and these are what people use, they use the redstone torches as delay, but you can see this, this gets quite large, and you can just use something like this, alright, so this is going to trigger these, uh, you know, redstone lamps right there, as you can see, so this has uh, 10 comparators too, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, alright, so each of them should activate all the redstone lamps at the same time, alright, we flip the lever, and bam, all of them turn on at the same time. So this ju just goes to show that these are all one redstone tick delay each, each redstone torch, along with each repeater and comparator. Now this one says 442, actually. So you can see the same thing happens on the way back. So that's pretty cool. Now if you're wondering what all this delay is used for, it's just going to slow down opening my door. Uh, I don't, You don't really need that. But there are some basic events that uh, occur. Like for example, this is like a basic piston door design. What you need to do is to push out the pistons and then extend these, but on your way back, these need to extend first. 
So I'll just rebuild this really quickly, and you can see what needs to happen. Now, if we activate these two, and then we activate these two, if we try to pull these back, look, the sticky pistons won't retract. But we need to pull these first before pulling it back. Alright, so that's why delay is very handy. Now, if we look at this design right here, it's very simple. All it does is it sends the signal through, and it activates this first, alright? It activates this redstone live first, as you can see, because this has a 2 tick redstone delay. So, first thing that's going to activate is this, and that's going to do absolutely nothing, alright? It's because it's not powering any pistons, if you saw our power episode. And as soon as that activates, as you can see, it'll activate this repeater, which will send out this, and as soon as the sticky piston is underneath this block, it will be activated, since the redstone dust is powering that block. Now this redstone, uh, this piston is strangely being powered because you actually see that it's not actually being powered. Now this is a strange phenomenon, will be uh, explained later on in our series. Th this is actually called a budded piston. Alright, the these are very strange indeed. Alright, now as soon as it turns off, what's going to happen is the first thing to turn off would be this. Because this has a two redstone tick delay. So this would be turned off first, and then it would be retracted, as you can see right there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, some other things are some like little timers like this. Uh, we push the button here, and that resin lamp turns on, and it's still on even though the button's turned off. And then after a bit of time, it will turn back off. So that extends the pulse, so it means you can have like a door that can stay open for a long period of time before shutting it down. Now stuff like this will go over later on in the series, this is more, uh, might be a little difficult to understand, but it's basically like an RS door latch that will reset itself after a period of time, which is based on these repeaters. Now some other cool things, um, I don't know, disco floors, look at this, woohoo, look at those lights light up, and same thing like that. So we just have some repeaters going to blocks like that, and that could make a nice disco floor. Uh, because, uh, delay can also be used for clocks, as you can see right here, we've got delay here, it sends its signal back into itself. Now clocks and all of this crazy stuff I'm talking about now will be explained later. Uh, this will continuously flash this, uh, lamp, and if we unblock that, look, look at that, isn't that cool? That would be nice for a disco floor. See, isn't that nice? Now that's why delay comes in very handy later on. Okay. Some more examples is this. Now make sure I got my sound up high so you guys can hear this. Alright, we push our button. Did you hear that? Um, my note my note sounds might be a little off, but yep, we just push the button. And it um, makes a doorbell sound and then opens the door. So, ding dong, bump. And you go in. So yeah, that's really cool. You need delay because if you didn't have delay, this is what would happen. Wow. Isn't that horrible? I think I have the same sounding notes as well. Uh, might be a little different actually. Yeah, there's, there's just some random uh, note blocks, but if you uh, right -click, click this 16 times, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and this one 10, or well, actually 9 is probably better. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, nine probably sounds a little better. And yep, that's the same. So they have about the same notes, but that little delay between it just makes it that much better. And then it opens the door, and you can go on through. So isn't that pretty neat? So that's what delay can be used for. Now. There is also a thing called short delay. Now, you can't get, like, negative delay because this is extending it, but what if you want something to happen, you know, you can't just, like, push... The, b uh, you're about to push this button and the store will just open before pushing the button. You know, that, that just can't happen. But we can shorten pulses, alright? So, uh, we'll go into that a little bit later, but if we look here, this is a button. Now, buttons are 10 redstone ticks long. Alright, as you can see right there, push this button, this door opens, and as soon as that closes, this one opens. So you can see right here, this delay just proves it. Alright, now this here is called a monostable circuit. 
and what a monostable circuit does, it will quickly flip things. Look, it will shorten the delay. So as you can see, if we push this, now these cool circuits will be uh, explained later on, but these are very cool. They shorten the pulse. So if you have uh, a long pulse length, then you can shorten them. It's a little off uh, the timing aspect of things because you can't really get uh, short delay. You can't really change delay. If you've started lengthening the delay, you can't make it shorter. Uh, you have to adjust the length of your previous delay. You know. All right. Now, yeah. So that's what the monostable circuit does. You look at the store. That stays out a lot longer than that. Now. If you wanted a, uh, some more tests to prove that this is 10 redstone signal, 10 redstone ticks long, this is called a repeater chain. Well, that's what I call it. Some people call these different things. I think some people call them oscilloscopes or something. I'm not sure. But this here is to prove that a red uh, button is actually 10 ticks long. So let's push the button and look at it. All right. So the f uh, screen should be frozen at the moment, and you should be able to see that exactly 10 of those repeaters are lit up. Uh, maybe off a little bit, I, I can't actually see the picture at the moment. So, yep, there's some numbers to just show you. Now that shows you that that pulse is that many uh, repeater ticks long. It would t that amount of repeaters that are lit tell you how many redstone ticks that are activated. So that's very cool. Now if we come over here, I have a monostable circuit, and now we can see how quick the short pulses so we push the button go into a bit of delay and as you can see right there with the pause screen there was two only two redstone uh, repeaters activated that means the signal length is two redstone ticks long now this here is another type of monostable circuit this one gives a one redstone tick delay well one redstone tick pulse so let's push the button and you can see it for yourself like so uh, wasn't that pretty cool? And yeah, that just shows that that's the shortest pulse you can get. You can't get half, um, half, half delay, uh, half pulses. I, I'm not sure. All right. So wooden buttons are also a lot different. They have a very long s signal strength. They have about 1.5 seconds long. So about 15, 15 redstone ticks. I, I, I can't, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's about it for timing and pulses and all of that. So that repeater chain was pretty awesome. So feel free to use that to uh, determine how long your inputs are and stuff. So all those stuff are pretty cool. Now we'll explain some of the more uh, other crazy stuff later on. We're still in the basic stage. Don't worry, we'll get into some more advanced stuff later on. That's about it for the timing for today just hopefully get your heads around how what timing is and you know you'll you'll if you understand it then you'll be able to make your little designs a little faster by removing the amount of repeaters redstone torches and comparators used in your design so yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed and take care i'll see you guys next time <laughs>